This bank remains among the best of the best. Jeep Morgan Chase excels in financial resilience, posting $14.5 billion in second quarter net income. Bank sheds loans from its balance sheet in response to stricter Federal Reserve standards. Jeep Morgan excelled this year despite economic challenges across investment banking, trading, and consumer banking. Let's dive in. Here's the the one bank stock you should have in your portfolio. Welcome to Timely Investment Research. Jade Morgan Chase is a global banking powerhouse, known for its financial strength and stability. It's a top Warren Buffett holding and a recent addition to New England Asset Management's portfolio, indicating strong confidence in its resilience. Jeep Morgan's strong financials are supported by high interest rates, robust loan and deposit balances, and the First Republic Bank acquisition. Investment banking fees are expected to improve, and the company's solid earnings will enable increased capital deployment. Recent news and updates. Chu Morgan Chase is accelerating the securitization of its loan portfolio. They are focusing on its Chase retail products like mortgages and auto and credit card loans in anticipation of forthcoming U.S. capital requirements for major banks. This move will reduce the company's risk-weighted assets and improve its capital ratios. Further, this strategy involves selling more loans, removing them from its balance sheet, and maintaining client relationships by servicing the loans. This move aims to lower regulatory capital requirements while managing its extensive $1.3 trillion loan portfolio. Jeep Morgan's increased loan securitization efforts contrast with a quieter securitization market in the U.S. In 2023, issuance for asset-backed and mortgage-backed securities stands at $463 billion, the lowest in years at this point. Jeep Morgan, a major player in the industry, has worked on deals worth $62.5 billion, often involving loans it didn't originate. The bank declined to comment on these developments. The Fundamentals Jeep Morgan Chase impressively exceeded expectations in its latest quarter, delivering earnings per share of $4.75 and $41.31 billion in revenue. Despite economic challenges, the bank thrived in various sectors like investment banking, trading, and consumer banking. The result was a remarkable 34% year-over-year revenue increase. The bank's stalwart second-quarter performance, with a net income of $14.5 billion and earnings per share of $4.75, surpassed market expectations. Also, the firm increased its quarterly dividend by 5% to $1.05 per share after passing the Federal Reserve's stress test, demonstrating stability and confidence in dividend growth. Impressively, J.P. Morgan Chase raised its 2023 net interest income forecast to nearly $87 billion, benefiting from higher rates and slower deposit adjustments. In addition, the bank improved its CET1 capital ratio to 13.8%, and secured approval for a lower stress capital buffer of 2.9% starting in fourth quarter 2023. This will enable increased capital returns to shareholders. Tower Bridge Advisors Decreases JPM Stake Tower Bridge Advisors reduced its JP Morgan Chase holdings by 14.6% in second quarter, selling 25,442 shares, leaving them with 148,881 shares. Jeep Morgan now accounts for about 2% of their portfolio, ranking as the 11th largest position with an estimated value of $21,653,000. Data from Bloomberg.com shows that eight analysts rate JP Morgan Chase & Co. as a hold, while 11 label it a buy. The consensus rating is a moderate buy with an average target price of $168.26. Recent reports indicate growing interest in G. Morgan Chase and Co. Credit Suisse upped their target price from $160 to $170 on July 17, while Royal Bank of Canada reiterated an outperform rating with a $158 target price. What now? Despite economic uncertainties, deposit competition, and Basel II rules, J.P. Morgan Chase remains confident. Its strong competitive position and balance sheet make it stand out. Trading in the neighborhood of 10 times forward earnings, it seems attractively priced. As a long-term compounder, it's among the top financial stocks to buy. Thanks for spending some time with us today, Timely Investment Research. We're so glad you did. If you found value in today's video, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and hey don't forget to subscribe.